Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add fluid to your hydraulic leveling system pump. And the kind of fluid you want to use is just regular automatic transmission fluid. But first, of course, you need to know when you need to add fluid to the pump. Well, one thing you might notice when you're driving is that all of a sudden the jacks down light will come on and you'll have a warning that your jacks are down and this is while you're just driving around now it typically happens when you hit a bump or you go over a dip to where the system somehow senses that your jacks are down or on the way down and when you hit a bump or a dip that's typically when it happens and it has happened to me a few times lately now let me show you what that looks like right next to my speedometer is the jacks down light and then just to the left here is the panel for the automatic leveling system so right now I'm parked with my jacks down so I'm going to turn the ignition on when you see the jacks down light comes on and then I'm going to press my foot on the brake and now on my panel over here, I'm going to release the parking brake and watch what happens. You will see all these lights flashing and then you hear the, the buzzing, the beeping. It's just going to go crazy like that. That's what will happen when you hit a bump or a dip and all of a sudden you hear all those lights flashing and the noise going on, the jack stout light coming on. That's what I'm talking about. And by the way, when you're driving and you do get the jack stout light come on and the other lights start flashing and hollering, if you just stop and let the coat settle for a minute, then it'll go off and then you can resume normally. The jacks are not going down. They're not going to go down while you're driving. It just can't happen. It's just that your system is sensing that there's something wrong with the system and in this case usually it's just being low on fluid. Now I'm going to show you in my owner's manual the instructions to add fluid to the leveling system. But first, you have to find out where is the reservoir to add the fluid to. It can be on many different places, on many different models of RVs. So you got to look around or look into your manual to tell you where it is. My manual actually doesn't say <laughs> where it is. I have had to ask people who have my same model coach, where is that hydraulic fluid reservoir? And they've told me it's under the steps. So that's where I'm going to go now. So I figured out how to get under my step. And there is the reservoir right there. And to remove that cap, you really need to wear some plastic gloves. Otherwise, you're going to be picking grease off of your fingers for days. So first you want to start with your jacks up and then fill the automatic transmission fluid into that hole right there as far as you can. So step number two is to turn the engine on. Set the leveling system to manual. now deflating the airbags which of course you only have on diesel coaches and then you want to lower the front jacks all the way and then once they've gone down all the way then you retract the jacks and then you lower the rear jacks 
all the way and then once they've gone down all the way then you retract them so with the jacks all up now you turn the engine off and now you fill the reservoir some more so the instructions say that you should go through that process three or four times where you lower the front jacks raise the front jacks lower the rear jacks and raise the rear jacks and then fill more fluid into the reservoir I found that it took more than one quart so you want to have two or three quarts on hand when you're doing this to make sure you've got enough to completely fill it however before you start this process check into your owner's manual and see if there is exact instructions like mine step one two three four five etc so that you make sure you're doing it according to the way the manual instructs you to so i hope this has helped you in some way good day folks